Earlier today, I purchased the Ironton Heavy Duty Garden Hose Reel Cart. And uh, I plan to put a 100 foot of 5 8 inch hose on it. So I'll be able to get around and wash the truck in the driveway. And just be able to get this hose in the front and backyard. Um, as I always do, I read the reviews prior to the purchase. And the biggest complaint on the reviews was the instruction manual. And the clarity of uh, assembly. So, I'm going to go ahead and run through the assembly here and just see what kind of problems I run into. Um, the first thing I have already done and set up is um, the uh, parts list. Went through and verified that everything was here and I didn't have any extra parts. Well, just as the, as the reviews say, I do have a couple extra bolts here and uh, a couple extra carriage bolts. Um, here so we're gonna see why um, everything else I just kind of have it spread out here is ready to go um, there's the main pieces there and uh, that becomes the body of it apparently so I'm uh, gonna get started with the assembly and um, I'll chime in if I if I run into anything that I that I think needs to be looked at. All right. So I was looking a little further here at the instructions and the pieces, and it looks like these pieces here are not included in the instruction manual. And essentially, they appear to be st basically a stronger piece for this connection here. Uh, to make a, a little better joint um, so it'll be here in the first step that these are that these are going to be used uh, if so if they're going to be used all right so yeah um, it's pretty apparent now where the confusion has been coming from uh, with this with this uh, cart um, these pieces are extra pieces it appears that the company has added to make this a little sturdier and uh, in order to do that they had to cut a couple extra holes and um, provide a couple extra bolts but it's it's obvious they didn't get the instruction manual updated to reflect that um, so I'm just gonna put the first one on here and we can kind of see um, I'm rushing this and I, and I didn't put the uh, washer on the right side so I'm just going to kind of stick it there um, but as you can obviously see these parts were not in the manual and um, they're definitely required so with that I, I would imagine that the cart is going to be a little stronger and not so flimsy which uh, I would assume a bonus, or I would consider a bonus, but a lot of people are confused about these extra pieces. So, uh, there it is. Um, I'll tune back in here in just a minute, and we'll see how it looks. That's all together now, and I uh, wanted to point out another quick detail that I noticed. Uh, you see here, this is the crank hub. This is what your, your handle will go into. In the manual here, you can see that it's shown on the frame from step one all the way on. Well, back here in the instructions, it's also shown on. So, that crank handle will go on this piece here, but don't let that throw you off as you, as you begin installation. Um, and, and you and you're looking for a frame that's got that that end, you know that piece on it, um, and that could also explain my last two extra screws. Um, so the crank handle, I'll add it on in just a second, and uh, I'm going to assume that it's going to be the two screws that I have extra to this point. And uh, like I said, you see this is about as sturdy as it can be um, with these two extra extra parts here okay I've got the cart on four wheels uh, 
step says insert the crank handle into the piece you can see I got that piece on there now which wasn't difficult it was the two extra extra uh, bolts there um, just tightened it down alright so back to this step uh, they couldn't have been confusing enough here and that's probably where most of the issues are coming from um, basically we're gonna put this wheel on first which I've done this wheel is attached to the body there okay you're gonna put the second wheel you know set it on this wheel like I've got and then put the second wheel on top and just kind of put a couple screws in to hold it in place and then you're gonna go ahead and put your <coughs> Uh, put this in the middle basically your water um, It's gonna take a little bit of uh, Squeezing on this on this bracket here um, But it, it definitely it definitely goes on um, Keep in mind that this hole here is a screw hole on the other end It's just an open hole. So yeah, this end is where you want to put your crank handle on the open hole and on this end, you'll want the screw hole, um, which I haven't finished putting this all on yet, but you get the idea there. Um, that's going to be the bulk of the confusion, I think, uh, with this thing. Um, probably going to take a little bit of work to get this squeezed in, and once you get it in enough to get it started, I just took two pliers, you know, and grabbed each side and, and pulled in there. But once you get it started, of course, the, the screw will pull it in. Um, but I'm going to continue on here. Oh, that's pretty much it here. Uh, got the handle on. Um, got the reel put in place. Um, you can see that it goes pretty easy. Um, don't know if you can hear that, but apparently I have a little piece of chipped off metal in there that I'm going to listen to forever. Uh, Got the basket, which the bolts for the basket are on the basket when you get it. Um, okay, here it is, fully assembled. The Iron Ton uh, Heavy Duty Garden Hose Reel Cart. Um, in my opinion, the install really wasn't that hard. Uh, the steps that were left out are nothing that can't be pretty simply figured out. Just a little bit of thought. Um, I like the um, extra extra parts that they did add in my opinion the, uh, the extra brackets around the frame there add a little bit of uh, stability um, so it's got a hundred foot hose on it here and you can see the hose fits plenty um, and uh, it's ready to go so uh, in my opinion, it wasn't worth the one, two-star reviews that a lot of people gave it. I, uh, I haven't tried it as far as the water yet, but if you're giving it a bad review just based on the installation, I don't think it deserves quite that. Thanks, and uh, have a great day.